Oh, my hair's a mess today. Hi, I'm Ramon, and this is my rant. I call it, Why Anxiety Sucks. And I didn't write this down, but reason one is because I have no idea how to make this video, and my anxiety is part of that. <laughs> reason number one. Ever been afraid of failing? I have. But usually, if you're afraid that you're not gonna get anything done, you do it. But when you have anxiety, you just don't do it. I don't know why, I don't know how it works, I'm not a scientist, but for some reason, when I have an assignment and I know, oh, I've got two weeks to do this, for some reason, when I have an assignment and I know I've got two weeks to do this, I just don't do it until, like, I have an hour left until class. Reason number two is, I'm also afraid of succeeding. I have no idea why, but the idea of having some kind of success just scares me to death. I don't know why. Again, I'm not a scientist, but I am afraid of succeeding. <laughs> Reason number three is it wrecks my relationships. Like, when you feel bad, everybody around you feels bad. And especially when you have something like anxiety, that can make you feel even worse. And it's just kind of like a vicious cycle. You feel bad, everyone else feels bad, you feel like it's your fault, and you know, you just keep feeling worse and worse and worse until, boom. That's another reason, reason number four, everything feels like it is my fault. Even if I didn't do it, like there could be an explosion in Haiti or something, and somehow I would still feel, well, maybe not in Haiti, but like if, Someone I really, really loved got into a car crash. I would feel guilty for that because I could have been there to stop it or maybe I said something that made them mad that made them get into the crash. I, I don't know if I did it, but the fear's still there. Reason number five? Yeah, number five. I freak out over nothing. Like, I could get a text from someone that says hi and I just, if it's not the right person, I feel really, really anxious about it because you never know what they want to talk about. I don't know you, I can't read your mind. So that's scary to me. Like, what do you want? And then I can't just not text them because that'd make me feel even worse. So I'm going back and forth with myself. Like, should I, should I not? What do I do? Ah! Final reason, sometimes I just freak out for no reason at all. I could be like, the other night I was laying in bed and thinking about nothing, like, well, not nothing, but I, I couldn't tell you what I was thinking about if you asked me, and I just felt really, really anxious for no good reason. It, it left eventually, but still, why does it, why? Why does that happen? So that was my rant. It was probably terrible, but that's what I'm gonna go with. So hope you enjoyed it, bye. I'm moving. <laughs> Shit. Great job. Great job, Ramon.